Hi all, Brad Wright from singlemalt.com.au here uh, and this month we're going to compare and contrast uh, two different malts from the same distillery. Um, the only difference is uh, one's 12 year old, one's an 18 year old. Uh, and we'll be looking at the Inchmurrin 12 year old and the Inchmurrin 18 year old. Uh, why are we doing these two? Um, pretty simple. Uh, they're both from the same stills and same distillery. Uh, they're both 46% um, uh, ABV. Uh, they're both uh, aged in the same wood and um, both are non-chill filtered. So the only difference is the uh, 16, uh, sorry, the, uh, the 12 versus 18 years. Um, uh, Inchmurrin's produced at the Loch Lomond Distillery. Uh, it was founded in 1964 uh, and is notable as it has three uh, sets of stills, um, two for malt whiskey and one for grain alcohol. Uh, they're producing about at least five brands of uh, whiskey, single malt, single grain and um, blended. Uh, also uh, unusual, Loch Lomond still has its own cooperage. Um, uh, normally the cooperage work at distilleries now is um, uh, contracted out to third parties. Uh, so I caught up with Daniel Mathers from the Queensland Malt Whiskey Society um, at the Gresham um, last week um, and we tasted these two whiskies, um, had a bit of a chat. Um, uh, so uh, without further ado, um, let's have a look at the video of that. Uh, yes. This is uh, Daniel Mathers from the Queensland Malt Whiskey Society. Yes, yes. And uh, he's kindly agreed to come and um, taste some whiskey. As, absolutely. What's the two other twisties arm? As, as, as you do, as you do, as you do, on a Monday night. So as we uh, know, yes. uh, what we're doing tonight is we're checking out, contrasting and comparing the 12 inch Murren yep. and the inch Murren 18 year old. Yes. Um, as you can see, um, these bottles have had a little touch up. They have. But that's what well, it's for. What yes. would you like to try first? Would you, I think I think we've got. To, I think we should start with the with 12. The 12? Yeah, def definitely. Um, uh, you know, that's not to say it'll be the better or worse than the whiskey. But, uh, I've, luckily, I've tried was, uh, the 12, and it's a bloody nice. Have you? Yeah, well, I've, I'm I've still actually waiting. tried either of these, so um, it's always good as a. So one of my roles in the Queensland Malt Whiskey Society is, is what they call the gauger, and the gauger's role is to purchase and to uh, talk about whiskies in our themed meetings. Um, and as yet, I haven't yet to do this particular whiskey. So. There you go. Well, that's fantastic. Yes. Well, it's only one way. Absolutely. Slangeva. Cheers. Very grassy. Very grassy. It's got, mm. To me, it's got sort of some fruit on the nose. There's obviously that vanilla, mm. the caramel. Very but yeah, the grass, and the, the, the grass, is, it's, it's said to be known because it comes with a very grassy eye. Yes, like. so they say. yes that's <laughs> so right, they say. exactly, exactly. So we've, uh, we've confirmed that one. Interesting, it's quite, I mean, maybe because there the, could be the light in this room, but it does be quite dark. It does, it's, um, it is, it's, 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 yeah, it's bourbon. It's interesting, it is, because it's, yeah, yeah it's, bourbon it, 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 and is, it is a big refill bourbon, that's so, right, which yeah. is interesting. It's, um, well, it's been a bit yeah. hard to find out because mm. the website says a mixture of Bourbon, right. refill and recharge. And, and, recharge, and, I, and yes, I, for the life of yes. me, can't find any more info on the 18. On the 18. I'm, I'm assuming mm. same same, same mm. aging process, same mm. wood, basically. Yes. I'm, I'm hoping so. I believe so. I think that's my, that's my understanding, yes. Look, the reason we've decided to do these, as a bit of a background, is because mm. they, they're so good to contrast. They're both 46%, mm -hmm. both from the same distillery, mm -hmm. and, and both aged in the, in the same wood. You know? same wood. So, so yeah. we're just looking just at, at, at age now. So. And, and look, on the, on the ABV, the alcohol... Strength. I think forty-six percent in general, uh, in my view, is a is it, it's that strength that gives whiskey its flavour. Yep. Um, most. That's not to say anything less than that is inferior. Um, but I find you know whiskies at forty percent just don't do it for me. They need to be that sort of around that minimum forty-six yep, percent. Yep, yep. um, but yeah, very fruity. It is. Um, isn't it? And, and having absolutely. said that, speaking of the alcohol content, it, it's mm. it's not. Harsh. No, it's not it's, harsh. It's a no, very easy one to drink. A lot of them with that easy. big alcohol really give you a smack in the back yeah, of the throat. They do, the but very, but it's it's sort of almost it is still lingering in terms of the flavour, which is good for for a whiskey of, of that um, of that quality. So, um, yeah, um, very fruity. It is actually. It's it's. it's it's got all those mangoes and peaches and, and even it's very, this yeah, afternoon it's I was cutting up a pawpaw for my, mm. my kids just after having a refresher dram in the afternoon before yes. we did this today. And pawpaw, I'll get pawpaw. pawpaw. Well, and, and just to clarify my earlier point, that doesn't mean, mean it's a bad whiskey. In fact, I really like that. In fact, I would regard that as a summer afternoon whiskey. For that, for the, yep. that, that fruit that's coming through, um, very easy to drink, very mellow. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, it's very good. It is good whiskey. It, 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 there's a couple, I've had a look at a few reviews on the web and there's... Mm. Bit of, mix, another, bit of mixed one, feeling. One, one, of the, mm. one of the comments that I actually took to heart was it's just such a big explosion of all the flavours at yes. once. It's kind of yes. hard to separate yes, them a little bit. Right. So it, it just, at first, sort of, with my first taste, I remember it came across just as a big 
sort of sweety bit of, bit caramelly of, thing, you know? A bit and, of a fruit bomb. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, no, but it's bloody nice. Bloody easy mm. to drink. Not much peat on it, though. Mm. They say it's peated, but, mm. but there's there's very, very little there, is there? Yeah, my, yeah look, my, it's, I don't get any peat at all on that. Um, there's, a, there's maybe a hint of tiny bit of whiff yeah. of smoke but it's yeah. but I, I believe um, there's a bit of contrasting um, I guess articles on, on this in terms of the peat content I, I, I believe this is unpeated um, but a lot of reviews have said that they pick up peat from it um, which is not that unusual I mean um, a couple of years ago I tried a Kalila which is an Isla distillery um, owned by Diageo um, and as part of their special releases they released a 17 year old unpeated and I've done multiple tastings of that and most of the people get smoke or a little bit of peat from it. So I, I couldn't picking, imagine an oil whiskey no, that, 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 that had no trace that, of anybody interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and, I, and I, it's interesting where that flavour comes from. So the fact that some you know, people do say that this has peat or smoke... Mm, um, mm. It's interesting, yeah. yeah it is yeah, interesting yeah. because... It, it, it's I mean, one of those big dividers too, peat, it is isn't it? It's it, hard. It, it, when you say hard. it's a peated whiskey, we get, yeah. a lot of, we get a lot of members going, look, I'm not interested in the peat, so we'll leave it. Then that's yeah. fine, and that's fine. But in the case, yeah. this is a great example of, of, of peat isn't peat when yeah. they say it. It, it can that, be that's such it. a massive... And it could uh, come from the cask. If you've, got char, if, you, you know, if you've got an extra charred cask, whatever the case may be, who knows? Who it, knows it, 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 you get the flavour from wherever the case may be. But... Um, um, I guess that's the beauty about whiskey. There's nothing right or wrong. You get what you get from the flavour. That's it. Um, that's right. That's and, right. I get asked so many times, "What's the best whiskey?" And you just go, exactly. what's, "What's the best song?" Uh, what's the best song? And, and what do I feel like? <laughs> that's today? right. And what time exactly. of the day is it? So, exactly. Uh, exactly. But this is, I think, going back to what I was saying before, that with that, that love it. You know, I just, I, I drink this, and it reminds me of sitting down in a hot summer in Brisbane in the afternoon. Um, you know, I don't normally put ice in my whiskey, but you know, a nice chilled glass with a bit of this would be delicious. Yep, yep, so, yep. Uh, well, I, I've actually, I've actually taken to it with the hot mm. suppers we just had, right? Mm, mm. I've been throwing them in the fridge for five minutes yep, instead yep, of going yep. the ice route. Yep, and, absolutely. And, and I, yep. I've tried the rocks, and the rocks are great, but whenever I want a whiskey, the rocks yep. are always sitting out of the fridge. That, that's that's it. Yeah, I know the rocks, but I, I think you know, as the, as the as the glass warms up, you then get the aromas, yep. and um, yeah, that, you get that initial, you know, especially in a, in a hot. Brisbane hot Brisbane summer's, summer's day, yeah, yeah yes, 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 no. Mm. It's bloody easy to drink. It's dangerously easy. <laughs> uh, very good. Love well, I tell you what, we've still got a bit left. I think we might leave it and try why the don't 18, we, hey? Yeah, why don't yeah. we do the 18? Absolutely. It's always, it's always good, I find, with whiskey. Whiskey does change in the glass. I mean, I know these bottles have been open for a while, potentially, but um, it's good to let it sit. Um, and then to compare, try the older one, come back to the younger one, yep. see if it changes in the glass. Yep, so, yep, yep. Um, it's amazing. I've heard um, lots, obviously, in the time I've been doing this, I've got a lot of theories on the best way mm. to drink and age, uh, mm-hmm. to, to, to how long to air them for and all yep. that sort of stuff. And I, I think the easiest one I ever heard, which mm. was a minute for every year. A minute for every year. I've heard, I've heard that. Yeah, or, or, or a, yeah, and then and how long you leave it on your palate for, uh, you know, a second for every year. But oh, right, I'm whether, not that, <laughs> whether that works or not, I, look, I'm not a big, that's you know, I, I leave it in there for as long as I feel is an appropriate thing. <laughs> that's exactly so, what I do too. Yes, it's, absolutely. Yeah, this one goes. Mmm, that's, wow. yeah, very, very complex. So straight away on the nose to me, Definitely more that caramel. extra sixty, yeah, mm. more caramel, less fruit. Yeah, yeah nice straight definitely. away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can de- definitely tell it's older. It's got that. Um, a, 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 it's deeper on the nose. Is mm. that is that a good way to describe mm-hmm. it? It's sort of much more depth back there. A little bit of, a little bit of coffee, chocolate. It's it's still wow. smooth, but it's it's almost it's a different totally different it's, it's, it is it is different. Um, very Moorish. That is wow. That's um. Yeah, that it's a lot more refined. Delicious. There's mm. still fruit there, but it's not that big smash, no, is it's, it? It's, it's not. It's and it's very restrained, but enough so that you're really getting the um, the, the flavours come through. And it's almost you know people talk about wine with you know the, as you age red wine especially you know you get those secondary characteristics come through. That's uh, very very similar in the sense that you know. Um, you know, there's a lot more complexity on that. Yeah, um, for sure. Yep, yep. But that is, that's just a striking difference on that. That is nose. really interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting nose. Definitely more, definitely more caramel. Much more, much more there, yep. And like I say, there's, there's definitely coffee notes mm. in that as well. Mm. The grass seems to have gone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
the fruitiness has been really mellowed down. Where there's still fruit there, but it's more it's more mm. on the finish, isn't it? It is. It's it's almost like a, a, a you know an apple uh, or a pear tart. You know that, that I'm getting on that. You know caramelized tart. It's um, yeah. delicious. Yeah, but it's yeah it's but very both of these whiskies very sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you if you like your sweeter your sweeter style whiskies. Yes, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, we've already done the, the club's already. We've just done the twelve year old. We're still right. sort of getting some reactions right. back for that, and right. um, uh, good so far. What we've heard, yeah, we've good, heard. Good. Um, a lot of people once again surprised by how little peat was in yes. it as they yes. market it as yes. a peated whiskey. Yes, yes. Um, which makes you wonder. You mm. know, they may be shooting themselves in the foot and, and excluding mm. part of the market by by mentioning the word peat if it's so that, that's right. so, so little so evidence narrow. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's right. Um, I believe in this range in the Loch Lomond, there is actually a, another heavily peated whiskey as well um, mm-hmm. that sort of takes a step up. But it's it is you're right um, because a lot of people see the word peat and smoke and they go, no, I don't like peaty whiskies. Yeah. Um, and um, by by far and away, no, got to give these a go. Um, yeah, especially, especially the 18. <laughs> there's absolutely no peat in that whatsoever. That's fantastic. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, no, very yeah. very lovely whiskies. And we'll go back to the 12 just yep. for just for fun. See if it's changed at all in the glass. Mm. If anything to me, that that, that grassy note mm. on the nose is a little bit more pronounced. Even. It is. Yeah, I think you pick it after, even more so after the eighteen. Um, it's just it's just an astounding difference, though, isn't it? From mm. when same same ingredients mm. and just six years difference, mm. what, what it makes. It is incredible, isn't it? Um, same ABV, but even going back to that, you, it's definitely a lighter whiskey. Um, but the grass, the, the grass, and it's not an unpleasant grass, you know. No, no, um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but it's it is interesting, but very you know floral um, fruit. That's definitely a summer's afternoon. I keep going, but keep, it keeps it reminds me, you know, that, that's the beauty of a, of a of a whiskey like that. You know, you, it puts you back in a place that you remember. Or, it. you it's know, all those floral yeah, notes a, that coming through, maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. It's yeah, it's amazing. 18, 18, it's fabulous. scored either of these, I don't think you'll uh, be uh, at all disappointed. No, you wouldn't be, be upset, honest. would you? Uh, not at all, not at all. That is amazing. Mm. So there you go, I guess in summary, we've got a massive change in, in the nose, haven't we? We've, we've, massive we've lost a lot of grass, so we've lost but a lot of fruit, we've, we've enhanced. The caramels um, in, in the 18 year old, um, the complexity on the palate, um, very chewy, very Moorish. A lot of these, and, and, um, and, and as you say, the, the complexity is probably a little bit more in the 18, but it, it yep. seems to be separated. You, you can mm. you can taste individual flavours a lot can. easier than, you than, can than with the, the, the fruit 12. bomb. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's right. And, and I guess look, a fruit bomb is a great way to describe the 12-year-old. Oh, um, yeah, I'm, you're not the first to use it. Mm. I'm not the first. I've no, heard it used before, and yeah. it sticks. It, it sticks, stick, but, it, it, but stick. it, definitely, it definitely fits. The, um, mm. it fits. Absolutely. But no, this 18 is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. So, look, while we've got you here, would you like to give a plug for Queensland Malt Whiskey for the Malt Whiskey Yeah, Society. sure, Brad. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, so, Queensland Malt Whiskey Society has been around now for, oh, 21, 22 years. Um, we had our 20th anniversary dinner a few years ago, so that's how I put that calculation together. But there are, I think, seven or eight steps now around Queensland. Most of them are on Brisbane's north side. Um, we've got uh, two in the city. We've got uh, Brisbane North, Nunda, Albion, which is all Brisbane North, one out at Redlands. We've got one in Rocky, Rockhampton, one in Townsville. Uh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one, and apologies if, if I have. Uh, but um, uh, basically, they're, they're groups of like-minded people, men and women, come together once a month, uh, nine or ten times a year, where you sit around uh, at, a, at a venue, um, not similar to this, um, and you'll have anywhere between four to six whiskies. There'll be a theme. Um, the theme could be anything from a particular distillery, it could be a particular age statement, it could be a particular region, it could be a random night uh, with distilleries starting with... D, for example, um, now, and I've picked that in a couple of weeks. Our meaning is a, a Deanston tasting night, so right. we're actually having six Deanston whiskies, which is um, I'm like actually looking forward to it because again I haven't tried half of them. Um, and it's it's an idea uh, where we just sit down, chew the fat about whiskey. Um, you've got a common interest in the sense that everyone there loves whiskey, um, and uh, they're great nights, two or three hours. Uh, order a meal at the end, um, and it's just an opportunity to get together and. I'll have to come along. You will, and you're more than welcome to. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you an invite. But, uh, but yeah, look, we. Now, I can't interest you in one more before you hit the road. I can, I'll turn the camera off. That is, that's it. Mm. Yep.
Okay, so that's about it for this month. Uh, what an interesting experience uh, it's been. It's uh, amazing, actually. Um, I've been uh, very amazed at, um, at, at, the, at the results. Uh, wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um, we'll definitely be running a similar series uh, again in the future. Uh, thanks once again um, to Daniel Mathers um, from the Queensland Malt Whiskey Society and uh, also to the uh, kind people at the Gresham uh, who uh, let us film in their lovely drawing room bar. All right, um, that's it for us this month, um, and uh, we hope you enjoy um, tasting the difference between those uh, two whiskies, um, and um, look forward to seeing you again next month. Slangevar. <laughs>